You are welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be doing the continuation of this question that we started in video one. That is from question of West Africa Senior School Certificate Examination 2022 school, for school candidates. Paper three, the building drawing. We have done the center line of the building. Now the next is to begin to draw the walls, doors, and windows. So let us start in NS. So the first thing is to put draw the walls. Now if you look at the question, walls, you see all walls are two to five solid concrete. That's all we need for now. Two to five solid concrete. So since the two to five solid concrete, then and we have center line, it means we have to draw line to the right and left of all the center lines. And that means we will divide the two to five, two to five into two. This gives us one one two. 0.5 but this 125 cannot really be drawn on the scale the, so i mean 12.5 cannot be shown on this scale so let us just assume it is 100 so you measure 100 to both the left and right no examiner will come and begin to measure if the wall are actually 2 to 5 so so you don't waste your time on that so let us start so measure 100 to the right and left 100 100 for all the walls 100 100 come to this place 100 100 I'll turn this one let's do this too 100 100 100, 100 to this one 100, 100 100, 100 So I will pause the video and I will do I am still going to do the 100, 100 for all the horizontal lines too 100 100 here too 100 100 in order not to make the length of the video to be too long i'll pause it and i'll complete that let's do that now so now i will now draw vertical lines and horizontal line from all the points Draw. Make sure your lines are are thin at this at this point. Don't draw with thick lines. Don't draw with thick lines. You have to use thin line for now. So we draw all the walls. That's for the thickness of the walls. So once again I'll pause the video so that I can do this so that the length of the video is not too long. We do the same thing for the horizontal lines. For the horizontal lines. Always make sure you are seeing the parallel line to the line of all the lines. So I'll draw for all the the ones that have bottom first. I'll draw for all of them first. Then because it's good. That you are seeing the line that you are drawing otherwise you think you are drawing a parallel line whereas they are not actually parallel so let's be very careful Now I want to draw for the top, so I'll use this side so that I can see the first line that I've drawn and be sure it is parallel to it. So that if it is not parallel, you can still adjust. Now draw this one. So I think more than this, like this. 
very careful and make sure your lines are parallel as you can see this one is not parallel so you really have to be very careful it's not parallel it's not giving a parallel line let's see what's the matter with the line So, we have been able to draw the layout of the walls in this one. Okay. So, the next thing is to bring out the doors and windows. Doors and windows. So always make sure you place your windows at the middle of the room, at the middle of the rooms, and your doors, let it rest on a wall. So let us start with this one. We have WW here. What size of WW Wind windows? WW is 1, 2 by 1, 2. And what type of window is it? It is louvers. So 1, 2 by 1, 2. And W for the toilet is 600 by 600. So let us start to indicate our windows so let's pick this place at the center of this room you draw a line then measure 600 and one two by one two so that will be 600 because the width is one two so you measure 600 to the right and 600 to the left like that then there's we have here too get the middle let's say this is the middle nobody will no examiner will, will be measuring that so we have the major 600 by 600 the reason why i'm using 600 by 600 is because the window is 1200 wide so you measure half to the right half to the left so the next one is this one is also at the center. WW2. So let's pick the center. Let's say this is the center. So we measure 600 to the right and left. 600, 600. So let us go here. There's a, win there's a window here. Let's pick this. Let's say this is the center. And measure 600 both sides. 600, 600. Then the next one we have we also have the BW here. Let us place it somewhere here. So we have 600, 600. So let me pause the video a little and so that I can fix all the windows. So now that we have all the windows noted, so let us begin to draw the windows. Vertical line. Center. This. So that's what we do for all the windows. This one too. I will say pause the video so that the video will not be too long because the repetition of the same thing. So I've been able to draw these three. This one is toilet window and it is W. Look at this, it's W. It's W which is 600 by 600. 
So I measured 300 here, 300 here. So let me draw some of the horizontal lines too before I pause the video. So this, this, this. So it's also a toilet window. It's 300 by 300. So let me pause the video at this juncture so that I can draw all the, win the remaining vi windows. So all the windows have been drawn. So let us now begin to draw the doors as well before we take out the layout of the wall. So we have a door here from the porch into the kitchen. So we let it rest on this wall. So to do that, and let us look at our door. Now, what type of door is that? That is D. D is 2100 by 900. 2001 is the height, 900 is the width. So, to do that, it is from here to enter into this place. So, let us rest our door on this wall. So, you, from here, you measure 900 and taking it. Let me do it this way. Measure 900 and draw a thick line there. This is 900, so we draw a thick line like this. 900, and then let it cross the line. Uh -huh. But the 900 is from here. Now, on this point, now you measure 900 again. That's the, the opening. This is 900 now, but this time around, you won't draw it. So you just join to that point. That will represent the leaf and, and close this place. You close it like this. So the entrance the door, it will open to this place and enter into that apartment. And then let us, where's the next door now? We also have a door entering into the store. Let us let it open into the store. This is the store. So if it is open into the store, you measure the 100, I mean the 900 into the store, like this, 900, this is 900, you're taking this one, and close this place. So, now we now measure our 900, which will be the opening. This is 900, then join it to this place, like that, then close this place. So you enter into the store this way. And then we have another door here. That's from the kitchen to the dining. This is the kitchen, this is the dining. So let us rest it on this wall. So you measure 100 and ticking on the wall you want it to rest to. Rest on 900, you ticking that one. Close this place. And then you now measure the 900 for the opening. 900 for the opening, then you join it to the door. Then close it, close this place like this. So it will come from the dining into the kitchen. So this is how you draw the door. So I'll pause the video a little so that I can fix all the doors in order to make a short video. So <laughs> there's a toilet and a, a door in this toilet and this D1. We check our D1, it is 2001 by 750, so the width is 750. Because it's a toilet door, so it is smaller. So in this, this time around, we're going to measure 750. Let it, let, let it open into this wall. So we're going to measure 750. This is 750. Yeah, so you rule it this way. Then from this side now, you also measure 750. This is 750. Don't rule it now. Connect it to this place and close it. So that is for that door. There's also 
a door in this toilet so it is entering this way so let it rest on this wall so from here now the major 750 is not the scale this is 750 rule it like this and major 750 which will be the opening 750 is here we we'll join it to the door like this and you open close it this way like that so this one when this door is closed you can enter this one is closed you can enter into this place like that so then remaining this this top door it's also d1 so it's 750 so let it rest on this wall so we draw the door on the wall first 750 is here so then the opening from here opening 750 then join into the door like this then close the wall like that so now we are done with all our doors and windows so the next is to now taking out the layout so starting from this place you can see there's a square something like a square here it's a column and it will be the side of the wall so and with this dashed line it means that it is an arc so it won't be thick continuous line so you also indicate it with a dash i mean with dash so let's draw the column first To draw the column so now let us put the that's how to indicate beam anywhere you see beam or arc that's the way you draw it on your drawing dash line once it is a beam or an arc you have to close the end of the arc so you have to close here and close this one too you have to close the wall there yeah so now let us begin to draw our walls this one will come here to go inside this place like this and this one will go all the way down to this place and this one will come from here make sure you don't cross the line it is stuck here and then you take it to this one is there no window in this apartment okay in the store there's no window so yeah like this this one will go all the way to this place close it up to this point then to come in here like this we will continue here we go out again it goes out and this one here so you just bring out the shape make sure you don't cross the door or the window with line it, they must remain opened this one will go this way. This way. As you can see, this is an opening for the window. I did not cross it. You can't close it. This one will go. What do we have here? We also have an arc here. So we have to close this this place and this place. Because there's an arc there. So this one can go this way. And to come like this, this, like that. This one will go all the way to the end. Yes. So we need to close this one. This. Now we stop here to continue outside. 
then this way that way so now let us move to this side with the wall here leave the end opening of the window wall leave the opening like that so let us close this side and this one will go all the way to the door yeah. like that so so this once you have lay out your walls properly you are not likely to have any problem taking out the outlines of your walls so this one the thickness it has to be in thick line it has to be in thick lines make sure you don't close the window to so go all the way to this side and this one will go across this place from here like this so it is as easy as that let's do this one too to close that's how let me pause the video a little so if you notice in the drawing in the question this one is dd that means there are two doors here two big size doors what's the size of dd let's look at it 2100 by 1800 meaning that the width is 1008 so that means that there is two of these 900 doors so let us fix that one let us pick this point at the center of the door so we measure 900 on both sides to open inside 900 here and 900 here that will be the opening so from here now we now measure 900 this is 900 inside and this one too I measure 900 inside and close it I close it then I'll measure my 900 the 900 is from here to here so this one is just to close it now that we have done this so you can join it to this place and this one too to that place so that is the DD now if you also take notes there's an arc here and at the end of the arc and we have we have a column here let us look at it on the lobby lobby opening with two square column 225 by 225 rc 27 2750 then floor level down is for ele elevation or section so the size of the two are uh, 2,000 and 225 and they are 275 apart so one will be at this corner so just taking this place because our our wall is 225 so there is no special measurement for it and 27 let's see what 27 will lead us one, two, seven, it will be somewhere here. So the other one, which will be two to five, nobody will measure it, just give it a reasonable width. Nobody will be measuring to confirm whether it's two to five or not. So that's the second call. The most important thing that you show it on your plan. So that is all about all that is required for the the plan but also important is the, the the naming of the apartment you have to name all the apartments this one is porch porch kitchen
Chichi. This one is store. You have to name all the apartments. So now the and this place is also a beam. If you look at the question, you can see the arrow pointing to this line. So that means there's an arc there. So you also have to draw that one as an arc. It's dash line. The two lines will be dash line. You have to draw it like an arc. So that is that. Let us complete this side. So, with this now, we have completed our plan. But there's still something again that is still missing. If you look at the plan, there's this section YY. You have to also draw section YY. So, it is passing through the lobby. And it stops somewhere around the beam like this. So, you draw with long short like that. Like that, then it also passes through this dining room. Let's say it goes like this, it crosses the window. You have to draw it then connect this one. This is this type of section is called offset section, and the direction of arrow is this in this way. So draw the direction of arrow like this and like this, put the arrow head, arrow head, and write y y y y. So that is all for the question. Then what you can do again is to just take the the major dimensions, major dimensions. Like for example, this one the total is twelve forty. Dimension it and this one too. You dimension it. Like that. So put arrowhead. And it's up to this place. And that is twelve. 12025 and this one is what is this one 1240 12400 400 put the arrow head from here to here like that so The line should be for the center line because it is center line diagram, so it should be from the middle. From the middle, from the middle of the wall, from the middle of the wall, this one too will be from the middle of the wall. This and like this, so it will be from here to here. So you can label some other dimensions, but I don't want to overstress this video. So if you have enjoyed this video, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so because your subscription will assist the course of making more video thank you very much for watching we'll meet in the next video when we'll be doing the elevation